Hi hey folks and uh, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me if you have in fact indeed joined me. Right what we've got here is an Alba Music Centre, I uh, don't know what model, uh, not interested really, um, all I'm bothered about is I took this in part of a deal on a repair. I'm just going to plug in and see. I'm not going to attach speakers and turn it on and it all does work that's all a bit stiff but that's working I probably won't scrap this what I'll probably do We'll do something with it. Oh, that needs all tightening, needs a service. Uh, let's check the cassettes see if I've... It's trying. Uh, it's playing now. Yeah, it's working, the cassette's working. So what I'll do, I'll put, I'll put, what I'll do, I'll, I won't scrap this. Uh, I won't scrap this. What I'll do, uh, see if we pick up anything on the radio. Radio. Tuning, yeah, on the AM. We are getting something there. So the radio does work. Doesn't seem to pick up much though. That's the strongest I've got. That one there. I'm purely going off the signal meter though. There, there's another one. Let's try FM. Yeah, the FM works because the stereo light comes on. So, I'll tell you what, let's do this properly, let's plug a couple of speakers into it and see what it sounds like, <coughs> but uh, I, 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 got, I did the deal because I want the deck out of it, because I want the deck out of this for my Pi Black Box. Because oh, I can sell that pie black box nice and easily. Right, well this has got two pinned in speakers. This is two pinned in on the speakers. Someone's put a makeshift fucking lead on it. Uh, they are 4 ohm. Jesus, I don't usually have this trouble getting these in here, there we are, they usually fall straight in those. That's one in, Let's go for the other, and we'll just see what it sounds like, I can't check the record player, there's no stylus in it, well probably can have got a stylus there, I can if it hasn't disappeared, oh it's in that cartridge. So we can stick a stylus in it, try it. But uh, I got this off Peter who I've just repaired the little Fidelity for. You know, it's... I mean, sometimes it's... <coughs> 
sometimes it's nicer to get some uh, get a thing than it is to get. I mean, there's no lid with this or speakers with it, uh, but that's not a great issue. I mean, finding two speakers is not a problem, and the lid's not really a great issue. I mean, it's nice to have a lid, but it's not a great issue. to the suburbs of Kerala. Sibelius spent... Which is that there are... Pro Cassette. I don't think I happen to have a cassette handy. So I saw one before. Where did I see it? Do I have a cassette knocking about? I can't seem to see a cassette. No mind. Take this cast stylus out of this and try it in this. This uh, the fucking head's a bit loose. This deck's gonna be serviced anyway. Just wanna get a bit of a I'll do it manually because the mechanism's a bit stiff and I don't want to do any damage. That's loose. Oh, not sat on the... Clipped in properly by the look of that. That's loose as fuck, that. Uh, get the fucking screwdriver under there, isn't it? To fucking. to, 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 to wind that screw in. Still loose. Let's turn the needle over. See what it is, it's. the stylus isn't actually touching because it's. Cartridge is working. Without a rule, without a rule, without a rule. Oh, it works anyway. There's plenty of talk in it. It works, it needs sorting, but it works. So what we could what I wanna do, I wanna take that back out. What I wanna do is I want to take the deck out of this because I can chuck some, I can chuck just an auto changer in this because there's no lid. So basically, what I want to do today is just get the speakers for a minute. Right, I want to take the deck out of this and service this deck 
because I want to put this deck in my pie black box. So that's what today's job is. So let's get it as a so. Let's get after it. But this will be going back together again because I want to reuse it. Uh, because it's too good to scrap really. Um, might not be any money in it for me, but I'll find I'll find a home for this. It's just too good to throw away. I'll put an auto changer in it, and somebody, so, so somebody will want. Ooh. I might even put the Glenburn in that I take out of the. I've got a Glenburn in the pl in the black box, but it's not right. So, although it fits in there perfectly, it's not right because it's not. Uh, you have to take the centre spindle out to close the lid. So I'd rather put a single player in, and that was what uh, that was what swung the deal with the fella. I got another item off them as well. I didn't just I didn't just take this. I wouldn't have done that. There would have been. If this is all he'd have had, he'd have been paying me some money as well. But he had another item which I was happy to take. Which I will show you in the next video. But, you know, I was, I was happy to take this because I wanted a deck for my black box. So this is going to be the job today. Servicing this deck. Getting it ready to go in the old black box. The black box used to have an MP60 in it, but uh, it was in a bit of a two and eight, to be perfectly honest. I got the black box off Jay, and he gave it me for spares, and I got it going. And there weren't really a lot wrong, I can't remember what I did with it, but I got it working. I got it working, I need to charge that up after an hour. I got it working, but, the uh, the deck with the the mat of the turntable was a bit scabby. The deck itself was a bit rough, and the cartridge carrier was missing. So you know, rather than uh, so rather than having to spend money on a deck. These come out the front. Now I would imagine this is typical Japanese construction because these are Japanese these music centres. Despite, hmm. Despite what it says, these things are not British. Right, so and there's always a there's always a bit of a Well what we'll do we'll kill that was attached nicely, wasn't it? Yeah, brilliant. I love the way people some people do these. You know, I love the way some things are attached. Right, so basically how do you fucking get until they get that fucking thing out? There's gotta be a plug somewhere at the front. Because unless you do that, unless you stick your fingers through there, you bastard. There we go. Yeah, I think what you have to do press it down uh, pull that a bit press it down and that's it that's that one up and then the front one 
turn it around so I can get to it. Flip that one up. Slide the chassis back in. I mean, like I say, this is not getting scrapped. Right. Now, you would have thought that Alba would have made this so that it could have been unplugged. But, no. There's your transformer there. Your power supply, so basically they haven't made it so it can be unplugged, which would have been nice. Thank you, Alba. It would have been nice for it to be unplugged, unpluggable, but no, they didn't. And I don't know where my clippers are. Did you find my clippers? So I can just clip the wires and get this deck out. They're not the ones I want, but they'll do. Right, they're not my usual clippers, but they'll do. Right, so we'll get this out. Right. And it's... It's not really, what do you call it, this is... It's got a nice motor though, it's got a it's got a four pole motor in it, so at least, at least it's got that going for it. It's not the standard not the standard BSR motor that BSR usually fit, the usual crappy one. It's not the standard shaded pole one, it, it is a four pole. So what we'll do, we'll clip that there, and then we know that the blue goes there, the brown goes there, not that it makes a great deal of difference. And what we'll do, we'll clip these leads here, just to get the deck out, there we go. Oh, right, that's the deck out now, so the rest of this can be put back together. I mean, and look what they've done here, this is a nice touch. They've actually cut a groove here, a slot. So you can get the deck out without taking this out. Now that's a nice touch. It really is. I like it when companies think like that. So really all I needed to do was undo the back. Well, all I needed to do was just bring this forward, which is like I did. Was bring this forward. You know, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this looks actually quite okay. It's got transistors in it, not chips. Uh, we haven't had a look at the cassette deck. We won't today. Um, we won't look at this today because I've already said today's, I've already set today's agenda. So what we'll do... We'll put the screws back in here, that way we won't lose them. And just put them in loose. But I like the way that that's been done, it's been done nicely. You know, I like, I like, the, I like the way that they've actually uh, fitted the, you know, cut the groove in the wood. So that you can get, so you can get the deck out. I like, I like, I like stuff like that. That's a nice touch. You know, I like, I like it when companies think, rather than when, they, rather as opposed to them not thinking. I need the soldering iron on. Right, we've got two more of these fucking screws. And I can't fucking see any more holes, but they, they are out of here. Well, they're there, there's one. And I think the other one's fucking... 
There's one. The one's out the fucking top somewhere probably. There we go. They don't have to be fully screwed in those. I don't need them fully screwed in. Because they're going to be coming back out. Now we've got one more. There it is. Because it'll be coming back out to be serviced. And I'll find somebody for this. It'll be very, very cheap. It won't be expensive because there's no... What do you call it with it? There's no... Uh, move! Move! I'm going to put this down here. Right. Put that there for now. Right. Well, what we've got here, folks, is a BSR. P P one three one eight two. Uh, record deck. Make sure I don't lose that spindle because it's metal. Right, let's take the. Uh, oh, I don't want to lose that cartridge. That's another job. Right, so what we're going to do? We're going to service this. I'm going to lift the. Lift that out, although it has bent it slightly, it's not a problem, just straight it back out. And to get rid of the mark I've just put on it, we'll just tap it with a clonker. Whenever the clonker decides to surface, it's on here somewhere. But, no problem to put that there. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to service this deck now. We're going to give it a full service, uh, which I generally do. Anyway, I like to do. Uh, uh, just going on to the uh, fidelity I, that I did for the fella who got this off. I decided to put a complete deck in there because that comes off nice and easy. That's stiff. Uh, the reason why I went for the deck, a uh, deck change, was because the deck that was in there was um that's better it was just causing me problems it was that needs to be fully done that's stiff it needed a lot of work and it was all all the shiny bits that come was coming off that with no problem all the shiny bits were all corroded and it was a very badly corroded deck underneath and I just think what's the idler like yeah I might put another one on it I have got a couple of new ones right, somebody's recently put oil in this motor feels okay well it will get oiled it feels okay, but like I say, it's going in the black box. This deck, and this, this recently looks like that no, hasn't. I was gonna say it looks recently like it's been greased, but it's not. But this is getting fully strip serviced, cleaned, and this is basically. You've seen me do these before. This is basically a single player version of the auto changer. It's the same, basically it's the same deck. Uh, the only difference is it's single play, not automatic. Uh, well it is automatic, it's what they call fully automatic single play. And that's good isn't it, but what they've done here They've riveted the switch. Thank you, BSR. So what I'll have to do is lubricate the motor and then put the motor back on. So it's not going to take much fucking doing that, is it? A couple of squirts of oil. Cause they've riveted the fucking switch on. Fucking idiots. I mean, why rivet the fucking switch on? They've made it non-serviceable, they? They've made it harder. 
that made it harder for me to service it. Yeah. You can't get into that fucking bottom bearing. I mean, I could take the motor apart, but... To be honest, I'm not going to because it's fucking spinning really freely. That's perfect. So we can put the motor back in. So we'll put the fucking motor back in because I can't take the so I can't get the switch off. So there's a lot of fucking about. I'm not drilling it out just to get the fucking switch off. So unfortunately, the motor is going back in. It does free turn freely with no issues, so we're okay. Get that black box because I could probably get good money for that black box. It's it's a seventies black box, a stereo one. Uh, but it's not a bad sound out of it, to be perfectly honest. I think it could do with a couple of new caps. I think there's a noisy transistor or something in it, but you don't hear it once it's playing. I can't remember it. I can't remember too much about it now. It's been a while since it's been out and on and I've got, I haven't got the original black box speakers but I have got a pair of Pi speakers that'll go with it. Right, so that's that. So what we need to look at next. Uh, is tightening the head of that arm. Basically, get the screwdriver there, that's it, make sure I don't rip the arm off, are we straight? Straight enough, is this a SC12M? That's stiff. Uh, that's stiff. So, see if I can turn it, get it to move with the pliers. If not, I'll have to use the heat gun. Yep, yeah, I can get it to move. So, there we go. Get a bit of oil on it. I might have to use the heat gun on that actually. No, 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 no we don't, we've got it. No we don't, we've got it, it's free. That oil's just made its way down into there. That's free now. Give it a bit more. Just a drop on the top, there we go. Right, and what we'll do next, we'll let that oil sink in, which it is doing. There we go. Right, so the arm's been done. Right, uh, the bottom of the deck is not too bad actually, it's make sure that's not seized, because they seize, it falls the arm into the centre. Right, let's get the, where's the pick, where's the grease? There it is. Get the grease and the IPA. We've got cotton buds knocking about somewhere. I did see them, there they are. Alright, we'll start by greasing. I mean, a lot of this grease on this has gone over the years, so there's not really a lot to worry about. So, 
to put a bit of grease on here and they actually what do you call it these they have a different slightly different push pad on them to what the automatic ones have for the auto changers have they're slightly different because they're single play automatic so they have to be able to switch off see that's nothing there you see you'd think there was grease there but there's not it's as dry as a bone so what we'll do we'll get a bit of grease just on all all the pivot points there we go so all we want just a bit a little bit on each pivot point let's check the speed speed actually works but we'll still give it a little bit of move that fully down I'm not pulling it completely apart there's not really any need it's a service that's all it needs I mean the grease on here is still pretty not bad actually so yeah that's all works perfect and it did a minute ago that all works okay but we'll put a little bit of grease up here so that everything can slide and move about as it needs to do that's your record size mechanism that all works yeah that's all good that bit of grease on here there we go on the pivot points clean that oil off there that's that's gone nice and free now that now what we do we need to do a bit of cleaning because see I'm not stripping it the reason why he doesn't need it and you've seen me strip these before if you haven't seen me strip it and you want to see me strip it then there is videos I'll be doing the auto changer version and it's exactly the same mechanism it's basically the same thing I might have to heat this up to soften it to be honest so you know that's not a bad idea Heating it up and it will soften it. There we go. I'll tell you what folks, if you haven't got one, get a heat gun. But yeah, that's got it now. Yeah, right, now it's coming off no problem. Yeah, it was a bit grubby that, but... this is uh, yeah like I say because I've no because I've no uh, lid or speakers for that I'll just put an auto changer in it I've got a couple of auto changers knocking about put an auto changer in it scraps you noisy shit
Give this a clean air because this has to move smooth. It has to be super smooth with nothing. There we go. Now what we can do, we can put some grease in various parts that need to have a bit of grease like here. Just put a little bit, you just need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. There we go. There we are. And you do put grease on these because there's little slots in it. And that indicates that it's a grease bearing. Oops. Now. I want my little screwdriver I had a minute ago. That was using to take the clips off. So it's amazing, isn't it, when you it's probably on the fucking floor. It is. I'll use this one. That there. Take this off. See, by the time they got to doing this series, they were, they were actually starting to cheapen out. Because what they've done, they've cut little holes in this. And that's to save on metal. I mean, that wasn't done because it would make the record deck work any better, because it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference. There we are. It was basically done to save money. Now, the way I, the way I service these, these actuation paws, what are poles, what I do, I hold it by the end there, the thick end, or the long end, and I just lift it over it. And there's grease on this and they're not supposed to be. Well, it's not grease, it's oil. Somebody's put oil on it at some point. But these are supposed to be dry. I've said this a thousand times. And people disagree with me, but as far as I'm concerned, it tells you that in the manual. And the manual for this is the same as the one for the auto change. It's the same manual because it's the same mechanism. The same things apply, basically. And, you know, given that it's the same manual, the same mechanism, you know. Okay, just get the crap out of it by doing that. Then what we can do, we can get my shirt. And then all we do, we can just lift that back over and tell they're thin. They're thinner than what they used to be. See, and that one doesn't stick now. Now what we do, clean this, clean the hole, clean that shaft. Don't be shy about using the same cotton bud for doing different jobs. Oops. Because the trick here is not to waste them. Put a bit of oil around that shaft there. See, if you do it with a cotton bud or a Q-tip, you don't contaminate. 
the actuator pole when you put it back on. And hold that by the edges. And that should just slip back in with no resistance. There we are. Perfect. Put the clip back on and we don't have to worry about contaminating that because we've oiled it correctly. There we are. Now what we'll do, we'll put some grease. On there. Not too much. We'll put a little bit of grease just in the middle, although we did actually put grease around the thing. But, oh hang on. Can't quite put that in just yet. I'm being a bit over anxious here. Because we have to clean. Scraps! Do you know he's a fucking nuisance? He's been fed, he's been out. It's too early, he's after his fucking jumbo. It's too early, he'll get it till two o'clock. Do you know? Right! Don't put your rubber on there. Yeah. Put your thrust, top thrust washer on and put it on upside down now it can wear the other side out for another 30 years. Let's get our IPA, don't worry about using the same cotton bud because you're just going to be picking grease out of here. So it's not worth wasting a clean one because it still gets the grease out until it's really fouled up of course and you turn it over. go. Do that with a bit of a rinse in the IPA. Do it dry. Lovely. <coughs> now get the, the grease and what you want to do here, you want to pack these. No, just put a little bit on, don't be skimpy, don't be stingy. Because this, remember this has got to go. Probably for another 30 years without somebody servicing it. I mean, I won't be around in another 30 years, so I, I certainly won't be servicing it. But I doubt anybody else will either, I mean... modern greases and stuff it should last 30 years anyway so it's supposed to be serviced every couple of years really ideally every two three years or something it's supposed to be really uh, really serviced but they were never done people didn't do them why because they fucking worked and while they were working, why spend money on them? You know, which is a stupid attitude. Put a bit more grease in that. That's it. Just has to be slightly moist. Turn that and should lock into place. There we go. You have people putting bits of string through them to pull them through and everything, but if you do it right, they just drop back on. If you don't disturb it, that is. They just drop back into place. Needs a good clean this deck, but there's no... There we go, look at that. There's no, what do you call it on it, or anything, no oxidisation on this deck. It's a lovely neck. It's a lovely deck. And what we'll do again with the oil, to oil the idler, this service is nearly finished. There we go. And to oil the idler pulley, uh, spindle, we'll just put a bit of, there we are. Put the oil on it there. Fill it up. 
fit the idler. We should have a clip for the idler. So it is. Fit the top clip for the idler. The pliers would be nice at this point. Find me fucking just use the cutters so you can nip it on with them. There. Right. So we've got so basically we've got Come on, I need that out still. Need to clean the motor shaft and the idler. Clean the idler first. And just take the crap off the top of it. Doesn't need the rubbery new this, it's in good nick. I mean, it had plenty of talk in this before I even did anything with it, so let's clean that. The 78 portion of this was probably not even used. Needs a good polish, but other than that, this deck is ready to go. There we go. Put the top on. I found the top for the grease as well, I can put the top on that later. The top on the oil, top on the oil, there we go, scraps, shut up, fucking asshole, you've been out, you've been fed and I don't know what, you do it every time I do a video, now out, does it every fucking time little fucker. There we go. Drop a bit of oil down there. There we go. Now what I'll do, I'll lift that turntable back off. And then back on, wipe the excess oil off, there we go, Let's check the spin down, that grip on the idler is not as nice as I would like. Put the put the clip on. Once it's run, it'll be fine. Probably still got a bit of IPA on it. There we go. Put our little trim piece back in. That wipe. Now let's see. Under there. problem is getting these in. I, mean, I don't know how BSR did it. But I always struggle getting these back in. That's 
that one under there and then we have I think the way it's done is uh, there and the other ones at the top here and you just no I'm not in that now damage the map that's it just clips in there we go then I'll set the spindle what we'll do now we'll strip the wires for the motor ow what we want to do And let them run. I'm going to connect the motor up and let it run for a bit. Right, let's get this lead because I always use I always use the Variac for running the stuff up like this because not that I'm worried about getting anything happening I'm worried I'm not worried about anything happening I uh, just like to I just think it's convenient because I ain't got a lead so I just think it's convenient Pull them leads down there so they're out of the way. There we go. Move them out of the way. Make sure that nothing can touch. Right. But there, what up here there? Should be the one for the Variac. Turn that on. Well, the arm needs adjusting, doesn't it? Bring that up, the adjustment is here. That's still switched on. That motor is supposed to switch off. doesn't help there we go that probably didn't help the blue wire was under there let's go for it again I'll sort this bench out later yeah there's plenty of torque in that to be lifted higher. Alright. That's it. Just so it clears the rest, which is right. Uh, 
Well, I'm not supposed to switch off as it didn't do. I'm supposed to get to the end and turn off. Turn it off. It's that. <laughs> Did you drop that? down that time. Get a bit on. There, there we go. Now, that's it, drop down that time. Push that back. it. Now it comes off. It's supposed to drop but it doesn't do it. Let's turn that off. The wires are a bit too close. There we go. Now, right so, I think it might. There we go. So we get the screwdriver just on there. Let's try that. Well, it's not coming back far enough. So I wonder if that's slightly bent. There we go. There, that's it. That's it. Just slightly bent. Perfect. And give that a bit of a there we go. That wouldn't have helped either. Bit of a bit of crap on that. Now let's try again. Because we've got that sausage just a bit of crap. There we go, it goes off all the time now. Yeah. That doesn't help there, that's not supposed to be all the way down there. That's supposed to be up here. Put it back down this way. Plug the power back in. Yep. 
So it should, we'll, we'll have it go over 12, so that way the cartridge doesn't get bumped on the ridges. Plenty of torque in it. Yeah. Set down point needs adjusting. Uh, so now we get to the end. It's still not done it. It's gone off that time though. We've moved the arm across. But at least it did go off that time. Why is it fucking... <clears throat> that could have been me. No, it's not. Why is it still doing that? Alright, let's have a look. I know I've got an idea what it might be. That's coming all the way back. Now that should well I could tell you what it could be. I'll tell you what it could be. It is dropping where it needs to be. If it's hang on, uh, let's bring this back so that goes there. Let's just give this a squirt of oil here. There we go. Oops, fuck's sake. A spray wall might have been better than a squirt, but I think it's this here. That's supposed to spring back. Let's try that. Try that by hand. Well, it's still doing that. Let's see how far it goes over to the 10 inch position. I want to determine. Check the seven inch. That's easier to get a seven inch record. Seven. See if that moves across. Ah, oh, we're not moving far enough. So the 
set down point is out. Let's try that. Set down point on this is at the back of the arm. That's further away. Right. Well, the set down point is now correct. So now that should now, which it does, is a set down point. Let's try it again. It should now go to 12. So it was the set down point that was wrong. That's right. Come to the end. Yeah, it was the set down point, folks. There we are. We're all sorted. So this is now ready to be fitted into the black box, which I will dig out in a bit, and I will uh, make a part two video. Of fitting this into that. Anyway, folks, uh, needs a clean, but there's no corrosion on it or anything. It'll come up lovely. This come up like new, and the weight needs to be set because you can adjust the weight on these uh, by just moving that backwards or forwards, and then you move that ring there to set it so it can't move any further. But the weight would probably be pretty much right anyway, but. Uh, I like them set to about five, I like them set to about four grams. A little scratch there, but that's no problem. But that's going in the black box, and uh, that brings us to the end. Just to check it once more. So we want to go. We'll go for seven, and it should go across, which is right. Come off at the end. Perfect. So it was just the set down point that was out. What it was doing, it was flicking it out too far forward. But at least it got a bit of extra oil in places anyway. And uh, that they, they did have an issue with switching off, so at least we've got that sorted. So. Yeah, that's about right. Let's just check the height with the queuing lever. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's the right height, because sometimes they fucking height can... And look at that, even as slow... Even as damping on the queuing uh, lever, look. As damping on... Yeah, on the, on the main one it doesn't. Just drops the fucking thing. Not quite, not too severe, but it just just drops it. But that's that done. It's got a cartridge in that works, uh, and that is the record deck that's going in the black box. And the one, the one that's come out of that can go in a music centre. That's uh, that's the Glenburn one. It can go in that music centre. And there we go. Thanks for watching. And more to come, as they say, later. Bye for now, folks. Hey, folks, we're back. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the... Take the Glenburn Auto Changer out of that black box and we're going to put the Glenburg, we're going to put the BSR one in so we've got the black box here hey. and there we go this is a 1970s black box it's not one of the valuable 60s ones 
Well, people think they're valuable. No, I don't think they are. Not to me. Right. Now, there's two ways into these, which is unusual. See, this has got a Glenburn deck in it because I put it in because the original was foot. But there's two ways into these. I'm just get my glasses. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Two ways into these uh, black boxes. You can either take the screws out of the bottom or you can get into them. Um, well, you get into the amplifier from the top, but to access the deck, you have to remove the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Because it's the deck we want. Or rather, it's the deck we want out of it. Get the deck out. We get the replacement deck in. Now, there's plenty of room on these as well for you to get your fingers in. There it is. Plenty of room in these in these black boxes to get your fingers. I've got the iron on and it's nice and hot. I don't think there'll be any gold born this year, folks. I've got a feeling gold born's going to get cancelled. If it does, it's if it does, I'll just have to order me stuff off of that I want from the internet. But you know, I've got a feeling we won't be going this year. Uh, Mike isn't coming today. He rang me up last night to tell me he weren't coming. Uh, I don't blame him. You know, don't blame him not going out. And he's having trouble with his, he's having trouble walking as well now. But he is 84, so you know, he is having trouble now. So, uh, I mean, he's not getting any younger. So, uh, but I don't blame him, he's been told to stay in, I don't blame him, to stay in, I'd stay in as well, this fucking stupid virus, you know, the dirty bastards and fucking chinks, the eat, if it fucking, I'll tell you now folks, I don't give a fuck, if it fucking crawls, if it grows, crawls, flies, walks, slithers, or fucking swims, then dirty bastards fucking eat it. There's another screw in this somewhere. I can't see there being so. I'm usually pretty thorough when it comes to screws. Now I've got them all. So why are we fucking stuck on that end? Hmm. The power lead runs through that. That's the only downside to doing it this way. Yeah, the power light, the power lead runs through it. Uh, there we are. See. That there, the power lead runs. That's a stupid idea. Because it means you have to fuck about taking the cunting plug off. We'll do something about that, I think. But we can get to it now. See, I had to cut a bit of this away here to get the Glenburn deck in because it's a different, slightly different uh, doings. So what we'll do, we'll take, we'll desolder our motor, and we will desolder this one, I'm not using my clips. I'm not using my uh, 
the little chop blocks I've got, schoolers chop blocks, not using them on this, there's no need. Desolder the pickup. This is These Glenburns are accused of being a, a knockoff of BSRs, but they're not really. Because uh, they might be just as cheap as a BSR. And that's screwed all the way down. They might be as cheap as a BSR. But, even though they are as cheap, let's take the lid off. Uh, even though they're as cheap, they were actually made by the same guy who started BSR. A guy called Dr. MacDonald, I don't know what his first name was. He was a coloured guy by the name of Dr. MacDonald. And he started BSR and he also started Glenburn. When BSR kicked him off the board. Fancy getting kicked off the board of your own company. That's what happened. Anyway, so uh, he set up his own company. Making Glenburn decks. Uh, he then sold Glenburn to BSR. He sold BSR, Glenburn to BSR. And... He actually did very well out of the deal. Now I've desoldered them, what the fuck's holding it in? What the fuck's holding that in? Have I just the wrong fucking wires? Right. Right, they go to there from the fuse. These ones. No, I haven't desoldered the wrong wires. There we are. Didn't think I had. What do you mean, you lot say? Yeah, I bet you did, really. No, I didn't, folks. Look like it, though. There we go, and there's the, the Glenburn. Uh, that needs a cartridge refurbishment, so I need to work out how I'm going to do that. Because the cartridge is proprietary, it's built into the end of the arm. It's a tetrad cartridge. But it's not knackered, it's just loose. It's got a loose connection in it. Now what we want next... Is our... I hope this fucking thing fits. I mean, I hope it clears everything. Should do. There we are. Our BSR, perfect, perfect, spot on, speed on, lovely. There we are, needs a clean, but it's, yep, yeah, it's supposed to have a single player, and that's what it's got. So, let's now go to the trouble of wiring this thing up. I want to bring that blue wire this way around because it got caught on the switch last time. The fucking switch won't turn off. And it's. I mean, people might think, oh, that doesn't, why does that really matter? Well, it matters because it's supposed, that's how it's supposed to work. So that's why it matters. But uh, I want to have a look at the amps in this as well. Uh, and I need to do something about this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the Dremel in a minute and I'm going to cut a notch out the back of this. So I can shift the back without having to take the fucking mains lead off, take the fucking plug off. That is just a 
I mean, to be honest with you folks, I can just move it this way. But as far as designs go, I'd have loved to have been in the meeting when they fucking decided to do this. You know, let's make the back non removable because we're going to feed the power lead through it. Let's make it difficult for the service guy. If our job isn't already difficult enough. Because of the age of some of this. There, I can get to it all now. I want to have a look at these amps as well while I'm in here and give a bit of a service. Spray some cleaner because I know the switches are a bit crackly, uh, a bit dodgy and all that so I want to give it all a good spraying. Uh, but, first of all, I've left just enough wire on them because I knew how much was needed. I don't have to feed it all the way through there and come down and just go there. I knew how much was going to be needed because I've been at this before so I knew. Right. I ate a load of beans last night. And today I'm paying for it. Wonder if coronavirus gives you a fart. Don't think so. I suffer permanently with a dose of farts anyway, so people would think I've got it all year round, wouldn't they? People think I've already got it if I start fucking farting. No, no one would suspect me, would they? Perfectly honest. If you give me the farts, I fart all the time anyway. I mean, if the government knew how much enjoyment we got from farting, they'd charge us for it, wouldn't they? If they realised how much enjoyment and excitement we got. <coughs> From performing a body burp. I'm doing a body burp. There we go. I mean, let's face it, most politicians talk out of their ass anyway. Most, most, mind you, fucking most fucking people as well as I can see talking out of their ass. Right, next one. Is to connect. Our signal. Alba made that easy to remove. It would have been nice. It would have been nice if they'd have fucking made the fucking. Yeah, they might have made that easy to remove. Made this one here a bit of a pig though. There we go. That's it. Now let's connect our input. And I presume I just sold them on. Once they're on, they should never be fair, they need to be touched. Well, 
unless some fucker goes in here and don't know what they're doing. Right, I'm gonna have to. They're soldered together, but I can't do that because. There we go, I need to separate them. Need to solder that one to there. We've got a piece of wire sticking up there, we don't want that. There we go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to solder that. There we go. Solder from ground to ground. Solder our next positive on for the signal. Then we'll solder our negative on. Our ground. them out of the way so they don't touch should be okay and this one what I want to do actually is add a bit more solder here Just uh, it doesn't really need that one, but I might as well since it's a piece of wire there. It saves having it floating about. Right, and that's that. Right. Now I'll spray wherever that's gone. It's up there. Don't know where my straw is. Mainly it's the buttons. Another problem on this, if I remember rightly. I'll just give the switches. Someone that will find its way in. There we go. Someone that will find its way in. Now, I'm going to plug it in for a minute. Uh, I'm going to put the bottom on. Or should I? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. I'll put the bottom on. sawdust in there from when I chopped it to uh, put that glen burn in because I had to remove a bit of material. Luckily the bit of material I removed is not visible. Yeah, it 
pisses me off really when people go on about what is a knockoff and what isn't. I mean, we'll plug the speakers into it. Yeah, I just want to check the deck actually, it runs correctly. I mean, what people fucking. I'm out to put a new idler in that. Let me just have a look. See if anyone's catching the underside of the mechanism. No. It ain't. So. So you can hear the idler. I'll try and clean it with sandpaper. If I can find the sandpaper, the empty paper. If I can find it, if I can't, then I can't clean it. But it'll get some grip, it'll get grip. Right. You see, head of the arms nice and tight now, which is what you want. Yeah, that's definitely not grippy at all. But at least the at least the mechanism does work properly. It's just the idler. Yeah, we'll sort that out now. Sort that idler out. Pain in the ass. Because I've got to take this off. Oof. I'd rather not. It's a bit scabby this black box, but. I will find somebody for it. I mean. Bit on the ropey side, but I've seen that being said. Yeah, it feels a bit fingy. Uh, I did have my emery paper last night and I fucking put it somewhere and I can't think where. Look what's on the floor, has it? No. It's here somewhere. <laughs> Because I tore a strip off it. I took a strip off it to use. So all it needs really is a good cleaning with the emery paper. But let's try cleaning it with IPA again. See if that'll do it. But you can tell by the sound that the idler has got a tough spot on it. But you can tell by the sound. Might even have a bit of shit on it. But now everything's running, I can clean all this. Look at that, it's probably oil actually because... Well that shit's come off that fucking motor. So it's probably that. I'm going to give it a good cleaning. 
problem is that that's causing it. It's got onto the fucking surfaces. It's clean inside of the drive drum. Yeah, you can see. Look at that oil in the drive drum. So it's the contaminants have got into it. That's what it is. Give it a dry. motor one more clean shows you folks what contaminants can get in the motor stops now still got no talk So it's barely got the torque to drive its own mechanism. That's not good enough. Nowhere near. So it has got a bad spot on the, the idler is a bit crap. But it's finding the fucking paper. I can't remember where I put it. Crap. I wondering where I'll put the fucking paper, really. You can stop that with your fucking hand, you shouldn't be able to. It 
shut off for some resistance. Well, it's starting to now actually. It's starting to now, it's getting there. Yeah. Starting to offer some resistance now. Don't hurt the fuck up on that paper. It's on here somewhere. It's definitely here somewhere. Piece here actually. Not what I was what looking for, but it'll do. Let's just pull the turntable off, start the motor, and remember you don't put the sandpaper on the motor. You just want to take the patch off. Yeah, you can feel the hard surface there. Just go down so you get to the rubber. You get to fresh rubber. A dry one. Don't know where. I'll just use that to. There we go. Now let's see if we get any improvement. See if we can drive the mechanism. Yeah, no problem now. I'll let that run for a bit. Yeah, look at that now. I'm actually pressing on that now. Three or thirty two and a third. See, I can't spin it backwards now. Probably needs a bit more. Probably needs a bit more. Or failing that, the inside of air. Look at that there. Yeah, I haven't got a cloth saw to use my shirt. Wipe the inside of that out. See, because they're always a bit smooth in there. 
And I, I, I sleep fine. Put it back on 78. I always sleep fine that the plastic turntables seem to work better than the metal ones do when it comes to grip. He was still It's a bit crappy that idler. It's not as bad as it was. Shut up you, you've just bloody come in. good as it gets. I, I will change the idler but I'm not gonna you can still feel it running. Shouldn't be able to do that. I mean, it's a bit better than what it was. I'll tell you what they don't give you on this, they don't give you anti-skate, just notice that. Yeah, the cement works perfectly now. I'll let that run for a bit. See the idler on a Glenburn, Glenburn's a different idler. Let's have a look in my box, I've got a box of idlers up here. Let's have a look in me. Let's have a look in me idlers. They're in that box there. Nope. Nope. Oh, there they are. Couldn't bear them. Yep, there they are. A lovely box of idlers. So let's have a look. That's not as bad now, but I'd like it to be better. Well, that feels nice. Yeah, that one's. What well, feels lovely and grippy. So let's try that one. First one out on this. I mean, you can still buy some, some, these idlers. I mean, you can, that, that does feel a bit harder than that one. I mean, these idlers, you can still buy them. Well. You can sometimes you can get them if you know where to look. You can sometimes get them. Every now and again they pop up on eBay. Somebody finds a fucking bag of brand new ones. Cause some poor old bloke who was a, a service engineer has passed on. And 
obviously his fucking idlers end up his bits end up on eBay and that's why you find these brand new idlers on there now and again we'll just give that a try not even clean it just try it perfect yeah because I can't turn that backwards now look at that Seventy eight, I can but you always can on seventy eight. So and it's quieter because that one's got a hard spot on it, you see. So that needs to be cleaned. Needs to be yeah, you can see there, look it's glazed. Yeah, so we'll throw it back in there, we know it has to be serviced. But that one's right, I mean Because that's stopping the motor and, you know, it's stopping the motor that. But yeah, that's, uh, and it's not making that metal on rubber noise now either. That it was doing before, it's not doing that now, so. Yeah, that's. Wonder how many people still think that fucking virus is funny, given that uh, they're having trouble getting things now. There we are. Let's push that in. Now the centre spindle. Oh, it's gone. Right. This stylus is a. Uh, Exactly. It is the right one, but I could have done a repair to the stylus, it's a bit. Do not want to fit the cartridge? It's a bit too fat there. But we'll clip it in anyway. There we are. Do not want to fit in. And we'll just see what the set down point is. We'll get a record. Anything will do. Where I put the fully shaved twist or put it back in there? Anything will do because you ain't going to hear it anyway. Yeah, it's perfect. And off it comes at the end. Uh, out. You can have it in a minute now. Go out. It's after your jump bone. Go on. Fucking hell. Right. I've got a set a nice set of speakers for this as well. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And it can now drive its own mechanism without slowing down. Look. get a stylus ordered for that leave that in there for now and ch just check the spin down straps you're a pain in the ass right so this is all ready for yeah, I mean, it's not the nicest pie black box in the world, but saying that, it is complete. I have got the lid for it, as you can see. I've got to screw the bottom back on yet. I do have the lid. And it is complete, and it does work absolutely not bad. But the sound on this is actually not too bad. I mean, I've heard worse. 
me. It sound all right with that BSI cartridge. Uh, be, uh, it should work. I mean, admit, admittedly, it should have an MP60 McDonald in it, but I haven't got an MP60 McDonald, so this is this is the nearest I've got. So this is what's going in it. And it looks the part. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it there for now, folks. There's not much else I can do, really. And uh, I shall catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.